Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have another Disney travel layout for you. This is from, if you watched my other Disney videos, I think I only have one up at the moment, but or my blog posts over at my blog, I have a bunch of photos to scrapbook of my latest Disney trip, which was earlier this year, and these pictures are from my cruise experience with Disney. So as you saw, there was my cat. I'm sure she'll appear more. Um, this is actually an old video because it's filmed at my house and I'm back at college in case you didn't notice. There she is again. Currently I'm doing the packaging technique. It's That's why she's over here because she loves the crinkling noise of plastic. But I'm using some gold Heidi Swap color shine and some water to dilute it and help spread it along the paper. I've never have done this technique on colored cardstock and it didn't turn out anything like I thought it would. Um, I don't know if the actual liquid in the spray is pigmented or not, but when I did put it on the cardstock itself it didn't seem to have much color to it. But that also could be because I didn't gesso my paper first. This was before I owned gesso so it was a trial and error experience. I ended up getting a cool look out of it, which you'll see in the photos down at the end of this video and over at my blog, which I'll have a link to down below in the description. So you can find more um, detail shots there, but it did end up leaving a cool effect and I ended up putting a lot of drops on as well. I also used the Heidi Swap Color Shine in the Peacock color, which comes in the triple pack. And if you're looking to buy any of these products, I'll have links over on my blog where you can purchase these products. So I did show you the photos that I'll be scrapbooking earlier, and I really wanted to let the photos speak for themselves on this layout. And I also knew that I wanted to go with the um, blue color scheme that was in the layouts. So I have this vellum paper here with a design on the outside. You can't really see it, but it's got like a film strip thing on it. So what I'm going to do is cut out the middle part, which is just plain vellum, and use that as a layer behind my photos, just so it has a separator between the cardstock and the photos so they don't just blend in. So I have two photos and these are of the interior of the ship. So there's this beautiful um, chandelier piece and then my boyfriend ended up taking a photo of the reflection of it off the grand piano at the bottom floor so it came out really cool and I want to scrapbook these. So I'll be layering them as so but I believe I had one more layer in there as well because I wanted a pop of color so I end up picking out a light blue paper from I'm not sure which paper pad I end up choosing let's see I flipped through all of the ones I own though to find the perfect blue shade but what I end up doing is just using some colored cardstock and this is a different color than there is on the background which adds for a nice um, element as well it's more of a tealy bright blue than a baby blue. And I'm just putting a really thin border and putting my photos right up against each other. This is really a statement page I would say. I didn't put journaling or anything because the title speaks for itself as you can see from the title of this video. But I just wanted it to be simple and elegant just like the pictures show the chandelier to be. Because the whole ship felt this way. It wasn't just these um, elements but these are the ones I thought looked the prettiest. So. And now I'm just trying to determine which way I want my paper to face, so which parts of the gold and blue specks are peeking out. And to add a little bit more of a gold element, I'm taking one of these Recollections gold doilies and tucking half under each side. Now I'm really sad to say that I did not glue these on straight by any means in the end layout. So I'm sorry if that bothers anyone who has OCD or any other type of straight problems because I cannot keep anything straight. This was also before I owned a T-square ruler so that also affected the way this layout turned out. So currently I'm trying to decide on what type of title to use. I end up putting Elegant Ship and I do add a few sequins or I don't think I can find sequins to actually match the um, doilies perfectly so I end up not using sequins but the um, once I glued everything down, I put on my title, which will end up being Elegant Ship, and that pretty much sums up this layout. I hope you stay tuned for the photos at the end, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.